I mean, can we get a look at this? So I look, this is like very old school Snoop Dogg vibes. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently a little bit after 6 a.m. And as you can tell, I am in a hair salon. Today I'm back at Blown Salon in Beverly Hills with my girl Jackie because she is going to help me achieve something that I've had kind of a major issue with. The art of glam. I honestly love looking great. It makes me feel confident, but at the same time, I'm incredibly lazy, or as I like to put it, low maintenance. But honestly, I'm really just lazy. Like today, for example, I have not even combed my hair at all. Jackie is going to show me a bunch of super easy hairstyles. And not like those ones you see on Pinterest where it's like, that definitely took like a team of people to do. Today, Jackie's gonna show me a bunch of super easy hairstyles that me and you, and yes, again, even me, can actually achieve in a very, very short amount of time. Okay, so here we are. We're back at it again at 6 a.m. Jackie, thank you so much. She has come into work early before she starts working just to hang out with me and help me become an adult. You've known me forever. Yes. You know that I'm like, I mean, some would say lazy. <laughs> I prefer cool. simple. Simple chic. And I was actually looking on Pinterest for a bunch of inspiration for this video. And the stuff that people say is quote unquote simple is like a huge farce. I'm like, that probably took a team of five people to do in three hours. Here's the thing. I'm gonna show you all the simple tricks and hacks and how they make it look so simple, but so good. We'll show you like five simple, really easy, on the go looks. Obviously, I am not a professional when it comes to hair, but I think I have learned a lot over the years just from being on camera for so long. Yeah. And I would like to say that I think one of the number one things you have to have if you want your hair to be like effortless is a great haircut. Well, yeah, and this is exactly what we're looking at. So I'm taking your hair down. We're looking at this shape and it already has shape because you have an amazing haircut. So super important, get a great haircut. Get your haircut every three, four months. Don't wait. Don't say you're growing your hair out. Just get Trim. Okay, so we're gonna just transition this into a braided look. Okay. So you can look boho chic. Fantastic. This is California. We live by the beach. Make me boho chic. So for this first look, Jackie said we need three things. What okay. are they? A comb. Okay. Okay. Bobby pins. All right. And some little tiny rubber bands. Oh, look at how cute they are, you guys. Can you see how cute they are? I'm trying to be a guru. You know how beauty gurus do this? Wow, look. <laughs> Teeny tiny. I actually do like these because they don't get stuck in your hair. My sister uses these on her daughter with oh, yeah. a really like delicate baby hairs. So what do we slash you do first? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna leave your hair exactly how it is and transition it into this boho chic look. We'll just straighten it out so it just looks a little bit cleaner. Okay, we don't need anything here in the back to okay. create this look, so we just put two sections in the front. All you're gonna do is take your hair down to the side, comb it here, get it right nice and tight behind your ear, and then at this point, we're gonna start braiding. And it's just a simple down braid. You don't need to know how to French braid. You're just making a very simple braid here. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okay, and then we're gonna do this as well on the other side. Look at that cute little rat tail. Okay, and then once you're here, you're gonna take each one on either side and just open it up and kind of make <gasps> it what? a nice big. Oh, that's how you make your braid yes, fluffier? Yes, so you're just gonna pull on each side. Trust me, you will get good at this really fast. Oh my gosh, just wow, a little it bit just of like practice. doubled in size. And then you're just gonna go again. Over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just make sure it's nice and sleek and start another braid. I mean, can we get a look at this? So I look, this is like very old school Snoop Dogg vibes. What an icon, I wish. I feel like he'd be proud. <laughs> I feel like he'd be confused. Okay, so again, we're just opening this up. So you might have a little bit of a fuller braid on either side, depending on where you parted your hair. Keep in mind that we're gonna put the fuller braid in the front when we go to the final style. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna lay it right over the top. You're gonna take your first bobby pin to secure it right over here. Really easy for bobby pins, just Angle it in a direction and then go right in so that they hide. 
As opposed to laying them like this. Exactly. You put them down. Put them down. We'll just hide this guy. And this is gonna hide underneath the other braid, so don't have to worry about exposure. And okay. so this is the, the fatter braid. This the one is that's the fatter go braid, top. so it's just gonna go kind of right in the front. This little end, all you're gonna do is kind of tuck it into this other chunk of the braid so bobby pin there and then we'll put a few more through the top so you guys see these like little things sticking out on the side right we don't want those we want those to be like kind of nice and in so just oh. push it back throw a bobby pin there and just tuck that in and just okay. like anchor it yeah kind of. if you just loop in here okay so that you know that it's going to be secure so you actually loop it through the hair that yeah. was really yeah. a really good hack and as many as you need guys if you you got another little loop in there, just throw another little bobby pin in there. You just can't go through a metal detector at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so cute! I'm like frolicking through the field! Up next, we're gonna do a look. One of the most on-trend things right now are space buns. I love that people are doing them like half up, half down, or yep. all up, or low, or high. So what are we gonna do today? Uh, we're gonna do two space buns with her hair half up, half down, really taking this look and just changing it so slightly. It's gonna be the same parting, same two pieces, just turn her into like a space bun queen. This is really hard to mess up and very, very easy because it's kind of like no rules, no right? Rules. No rules rules at all the messier the better oh well, great that sounds like my life fantastic just your hair ties and bobby pins and these hair ties are they a little bit bigger these are a little bit bigger okay you really can play up if you want baby hair sticking out or not i think jocelyn has such cute ones that we'll just definitely play with it for this look Ooh, a nice tendril moment you know i grew up in the 90s so i yeah. love a tendril and then guys if you really don't know like what will look good on you in terms of how high you should go go to the highest points of your eyebrows and come straight up that's usually the most flattering oh really okay so I would go like right here yep. and then okay yep. wow you yep. just did that without me even knowing okay we got oh my gosh like in. honestly even this is kind of cute sporty spice very sporty spice okay and then you're just gonna take this up go with your comb start at the bottom and just do short little teasing we're gonna make the hair nice and big Contrary to popular belief, I don't think teasing actually screws up your hair if you do it the right way, correct? Yes, correct. You just want to always make sure you're going in, and then when you're brushing it out, always brush it out before you shampoo and condition your hair. That's where the breakage happens. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at me. <laughs> but they're like almost little buns already at that point. Yes, you're just going to kind of turn them a little, a little twisty, and kind of turn it into a bun. Bobby pins. Where you feel yourself holding the bun with its tension, that's where you're gonna put the bobby pin. So you're just replacing your fingers. So right where my fingers are, I'm just gonna throw a bobby pin in there and that should hold it right away. Oh my gosh, that's such a good hack. Okay, that was a total of three bobby pins. So now we're gonna do the other bun. What? If you don't have the money to buy Minnie Mouse ears, just do your own. <laughs> it's a huge Disney hack. I'm gonna take this down. Oh my gosh, and what? This is very cute. We have one more addition, and by we, I mean Jackie. What are these? So oh, these are little stars, okay? Right there. Oh, How here, do we, we gotta do the guru. Oh, there we go. I fail at guru -ness. You guys already know that. Okay, but these are little stars, and we're just gonna put them in just to go with our space theme. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that little Azez. Come to my planet, people. Moving right along to our next look. Also, I'm checking my phone right now. It is currently 6.45, and we probably started like a little bit after six, so look it, I have receipts. It is 6.45 a.m., you guys. The sun <laughs> is barely out outside. What are we doing next? You said bobby pin dreams? Bobby pin dreams. This is just a cluster of bobby pins <laughs> on the side of your head to make it look like you did something. And also, if you don't have an antenna for your television, you can act as one now. <laughs> what we're gonna use for this is literally a box of silver bobby pins. You can buy these for like $3 anywhere. I swear $3 looks at 
and you'll have these for life. I actually got some from H&M that are gold that cost 99 cents. This is a super affordable, fun way. I've actually done my hair like this before, just kind of like a deep side part and then just a cluster of bobby pin dreams as we're calling it. <laughs> it's just like a fun moment to have with your hair and it's super affordable and very, very easy, but I'm sure you're gonna have a lot more tricks to teach me. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna brush out your hair here. Is that the first time you brushed it? Yeah. I think it is. That was the first time I brushed it. So for this look, we're definitely gonna do the deep part. And how do you get a good deep part? Same thing, I use the eyebrow as a rule of thumb and just come straight up and then go right back. Here is the biggest hack for this. What happens when you start putting the bobby pins in, your hair starts to kind of move and get weird and then over the course of the night, this just starts to lift and uh -huh. become weird. So we're actually gonna secure a little rubber band down here before oh, we start putting the rubber really? band really? So we'll just take this little section, if that you want is it to be so really flat, we'll add a little hairspray. Go with this piece down below behind the ear, okay? Really low, so that when your ponytail's in, the rest of this hair will just hide it. Oh my okay. gosh, so smart. We'll start with the straight look. And you just wanna hold your hair there, and you can space them out as perfectly or as imperfectly as you want. Okay, you guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, first off, barely combed my hair, haven't done anything, and you just did this in three minutes. Yep. This is very cute. So let's do a few little crisscross. Great, let's there. do that. But guys, just when you thought things just couldn't get any more simple <laughs> with this video, what Jackie's about to do is literally just changing up the hair accessories. Yep, just gonna take these out. We're gonna put in the latest kind of clips like Forever 21, Amazon, anywhere you can get these things. So we're gonna go in with one. We have not taken out the ponytail holder, by the way. Yes, and then we'll do two, a thin one. And hide the thing in the back. There we go. That took 10 seconds, maybe. <laughs> this whole barrette situation that's happening right now is having such a moment. I yeah. would say, easily, hands down, this is the hottest trend of summer when it yeah. comes to hair accessories. By the way, I know how to say accessories. I just say accessories because I think it sounds fun. But this is so cute. Are you getting a lot of requests? Yeah. This kind of look? Definitely. Everyone's bringing these in. This is like a look for any wedding I've done. At least one of the bridesmaids is rocking this look. What's next? Okay, so now we're gonna do a simple ponytail. This is for a really like chic business look. You wanna look really classy. All we're doing is we're gonna put Jocelyn's hair into a very low ponytail right here in the back with a beautiful center part. I actually see a ton of celebrities wearing their hair in these low middle part ponytails. Hailey Bieber, Hailey Baldwin wears her hair like this all the time with like an awesome scrunchie, which makes it feel like a little more youthful, but at the same time, it's like, I'm here to do business. Yep. And because scarves and scrunchies are so in style, that's what we're gonna accessorize this with. Good accessories can really change the game and make you look like you spent a lot more time getting ready than you did, when in actuality, you woke up, didn't brush your hair, and arrived at a hair salon at 6 a.m. Oh wait, that's my life. But this look, I really loved this one. Oh yes, I brought some of my hair accessories with me. This is a really cute one that I actually, already has a ponytail yep. and has a scarf. I bought that from Forever 21, so it was incredibly affordable. All right, so we're done. Wow, I can't wait to see what it looks like back there. We have another quick two in one look. What are you gonna do next, Jack? So we're just gonna turn this low ponytail into a quick bun and then put like a nice big scrunchie on it. So same thing, just like turn it into a cute little bun wherever your fingers are at. Replace with bobby pins. I'm gonna put this cute little scrunchie over. Oh, we're gonna layer it. To make it like nice and bigger. Two scrunchies. It is currently 7.05, so we have already done like what? Like that's like five styles maybe in the course yeah. of less than an hour. Yeah. I'm so impressed, but not at all surprised because yeah. she is a true queen. <laughs> but honestly, you guys, some of these looks are very simple, like the low ponytail or the low bun that we just did, but I think you can really up your game by using accessories, and that's like the whole concept of this video is like not everyone in their life has a Jackie. 
<laughs> I know that I'm so fortunate to have a friend who will help me anytime I need it. But I think it's really awesome that you could just like empower yourself and learn how to do all of these like really, really easy looks. So what is next? Okay, so right now I'm just transitioning your ponytail over to the side. And we're gonna do a little bit of a textured ponytail. Amazing. So you literally just took the pony from the middle, yep. moved it over to one side. Yep. You're putting and in a ponytail nice holder. Low. All we're gonna do is go about an inch down okay. and put another rubber band. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love these looks. Is this the one where there's a bunch of rubber bands? Yep. Okay, these are so so, so okay, cute. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is that you're gonna just make this kind of poofy by pulling it out, almost like how we pulled out the braid. You just made that look so easy. I always thought people just had like really full hair, but in actuality, they're just like pulling it out like that. So we'll go about another inch and a half down. And Jocelyn doesn't have particularly like the longest hair. You don't need the longest hair to do this look. It's just fun and cute. This is so cute. And this would be really great if I put in some of my extensions to Absolutely. make it a little bit longer. Absolutely. Go down one more. So this will be the last one we put in and just poof this out. There it is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So we have reached the time in this video where we are going to do the final look, which Jackie said is easy, but you might need a friend to help you do it the first time. What yeah. do we call this? This is going to be our non-braided French braid. Ooh. <laughs> So we have about 800 ponytail holders. So we're gonna go into our first ponytail. We're gonna start it right here at the top. And again, if you want great little baby hairs hanging out, you can yep. totally do that. Okay, so the reason this look is more challenging is because you want all your parting to be perfect. This is also just so great for summer because it's a way to get all your hair out of your face and not have to worry about it, but it still looks so cute. Also, have you guys noticed that all of these looks are heatless? Because again, I am gonna make a video about growing out my hair and I think that is the main thing to note is that not putting heat on your hair really helps it grow. Away. Oh, so we're putting this away. Goodbye. Putting that one away. So now we're gonna take our next ponytail. Don't forget to leave out your cute little baby hairs there. I always like to angle the hair like up and away because I think it's more flattering on your face. It makes you look younger. You can oh, pull. I see. So like you pull towards the, yeah. the crown kind of. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just combing this really perfectly into place. And before I put this in a ponytail, we're gonna get this guy and add him. We need a hair scrunch. Oh, I'm the assistant. There you go. <laughs> so all that's going into the next ponytail. Okay. So there's your second ponytail. What we're gonna do is exactly how we did on the last ponytail and just pull this out a little to kind of make it cute. So we'll clip this one away and then we're gonna go to the next section, okay? We're doing the next section. Okay, another ponytail. So we took that piece down, we're gonna add it to this piece. And we're going into another ponytail. Again, we're gonna pull out. That is so cool. We're gonna go into another one. I think if you're someone that is capable of French braiding your own hair, this is something you could definitely do. Definitely. Okay, so we'll take this down. My beautiful assistant will give me one more ponytail. She will. Okay, We're just gonna pull out these little guys here. And the last one's super easy because already parted for us. Batten and all ponytail. And then we're gonna do one more ponytail here to keep it going. All right, guys, we are done. Seven nineteen, and we've done 4,000 hairstyles. They're all really easy, guys. Just takes a little bit of practice. I'm gonna have all of her info in the info section. If you're ever in Beverly Hills, please come visit her. I'm gonna have all the links to her salon in the info section as well, Blown Salon, here in the heart of Beverly Hills. But guess what? She travels.
for the right price. <laughs> She's amazing and these are all hairstyles that I honestly, from the depths of my soul, believe that even all of you and myself are capable of doing, which is really what I wanted to do. Just give all of us a way to up our game, have better hair, and become adult. Jackie, thank you so much oh, for hanging for out with me, me again. today. You guys sure. stay tuned because this is not the last time you've seen Jackie. Jackie will be doing my hair for my wedding and we still have not fully decided on a look. If you haven't seen that video, please click over here to help me make my choice on this journey. And also subscribe guys because <laughs> obviously I need help with my life. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. You know that I'm like, I mean some would say lazy. <laughs> my entire steering wheel in my car is like covered in foundation. Just me, anyone else? The messier the better. Well great, that sounds like my life. Fantastic. <laughs>